All right, boys. Daddy's bringing you some fucking candy today. Day three at SHOT Show. I've got the sexiest motherfucker right here, James Reeves. That is true. I'm not going to deny it. This is like the biggest moment of my life. Besides the divorce earlier this year, this is the fucking highlight. What, what <laughs> is this reality TV? Is it basically, it's turning into it. What, what am I doing? It's here? going to be in Carbo TV. We're like in, we're like TFB TV Junior, baby, baby. Right. Okay. Well, that that's not that good. You understand? TFB TV in and of itself sucks. So Dude, you're saying whatever, you're a shittier man. version of shit. <laughs> See, I love that about you. You're so humble. I've really enjoyed your personality. I'm going to jerk him off real quick. All right, hold on. <laughs> I've really enjoyed your personality that you infused to a lot of the, you know, reviews and things you've done. Oh, I think it's fucking great. Thank I think you, it's man. original and it's creative and it's you, baby. Dude, this is a raunchy program. This must be on cable <laughs> television, not YouTube. It's going to be. Yeah, it's yeah, be. yeah. Because, I mean, you're going to get cut. That's three content strikes, I think, in one video. That's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, man, hey thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely. Enjoy the show. Thank you, dude. What's your um, name? I'm Kara. Kara, Hi. Chris. I'm single, recently divorced. Nice to meet you. I am very married. Oh, <laughs> shit. And the new hotness at SHOT Show is the 10 millimeter? It's a little thick. You know, it's a thick girl. Full Picatinny rail on this. Obviously, it comes in a standard thread. You're going to see that across our line nowadays. Yep. Uh, it's got the new upgraded grips, the grippy grips. They're real nice. Is our that the name or is that slim. your name? Because I do like that. What? Grippy grips. Grippy grips. That's my name. Okay, you know? that's good, actually. You're the marketing professional, <laughs> yeah. so I like it. Our mag is interchangeable with our 10 mil carbine, of course, as well. So, yeah. nice little perk there. Give me the female perspective. Would you own one of those, and how controllable is it at the range? Is it fun to shoot? It is. So, the weight on it makes it a lot more enjoyable. If you have a small little 10 mil the pistol for 10 mil, you're going to shoot it once. Kind of like a 380, a little pocket 380. Yep. You're just not fun to shoot, right? Okay. You can shoot it once or twice, it's snappy. Snappy, yeah. Not enjoyable. But something about the weight of our gun that helps one with recoil and then also stay on target. I like that. Yeah, That's true. Yeah, it does feel pretty balanced. I mean, yeah. they are somewhat heavy, big, big girls, but yep. we like big girls. Yep. But yeah, it definitely feels like it'll sit there it in your hand. It's not like so light that it's going to snap. It's definitely going to yeah. stay right on target, like you said. Price Perfect. point. MSRP 225. Beautiful. And it comes with one mag, two one mags, mag. and the capacity? 10. 10. 10, 10. 10, 10, baby. Yeah. 10 out of 10. So I'm here at Air Precision with Kirk here. We're going to go over their new bolt action rifle. This show, we're kind of debuting, taking orders on uh, our new Solus bolt action rifle system. Uh, I say system because we do have the complete rifle ZC here. We'll also be selling these as components. Kind of the core of it is the Solus sh short action. Uh, it's completely open source. Uh, uses commonly available existing components so it fits right into the ecosystem. You can build these at home very easily uh, with the right tools and know-how. What's the price point on these? Short action is going to be $899. Uh, the chassis we developed in conjunction with is this. Is this a short? Uh, they're all, yeah, they're all short action okay. that we got here. Uh, long action will come later, uh, later this year. The chassis we developed in conjunction with these guys here, um, those are going to be $799. And then the complete rifles are going to be at $1999.99. Nice. And this one uh, has your own uh, silencer on it now too, right? Yes, that yes. you just released? Yep. Right. Lar 30. Debut product of our new suppressor line. Fully welded, uh, 30 caliber centerfire rifle suppressor. Has full auto rating, no minimum barrel length requirement. You can shoot up to 300 wind mag out of it. So it looks like they have different configurations for, the, for their new suppressor here. If you want to go short boy, you can... Uh, get the good barrel harmonics on that, or if you just want to get good sound suppression on it, you go for the long can. That's really cool that they have different options for you out here. So I've got the new Rock Island Armory 5.0. It's the first 100% US manufactured pistol that Rock Island's offered. You've got a nine millimeter Luger, 17 plus one, internal hammer fires. What's going on with the square barrel? That That's obvious right barrel. there. What is that? It's just kind of an artifact of the design. Kind of works well with the system that we're running. If you look down here, in that barrel, you can see that cut out. You don't see that. Oh, I see. That that thing runs into. A little easier to do on these square barrels for us. It's unique. So, um, is it for added weight to get more weight in the front of the yeah, barrel? So, reduce recoil? What's going on? That's like, part of it as well. You get a lot of weight out of that, yeah. really low in the gun. You get a nice four and a half to five pound trigger out of the deal, too, right out of the box. Here's a welcome to try that if you'd like it. Yeah. Uh, the uh, capacity of it? Uh, 17 plus one. Nice. Double stack? Yep. We only offer it in the 9mm Luger right now. I mean, that is very light. That feels less than 5 pounds. Yeah. And how much does, would this one run for? So MSRP on the website is 998 Staccato. It sounds Spanish. It sounds like Ferrari, but they're made in Texas, baby. So I'm a Spaniard, and we, all, we, we go full throw into expensive shit. We, we want no cheap shit. So okay. This is a competition gun. 
pulling around four pounds. For 70 bucks more, you can get a flat face trigger, which is nice for them, right? We'll see. <laughs> After you pay pretty much half of your mortgage. I'm excited to hear that they're American made and in Texas. Yeah. What about it? That's a huge price point. How do we get customers interested in buying it? I guess you don't need to upgrade anything. It's no, upgrading. so the, the fact that we do hand make every gun, we are meticulous in our processes. Historically, most manufacturers will build to the third zero in their specs, right? So slide to frame fit, barrel to slide, stuff like that. We run to the fourth. It's a modern 1911 design that we've tweaked and modified uh, so we call it the 2011. Even the polishing on the feed ramp is already done. Yeah. This is premium, top notch, it feels solid, even when you're handling it. What is this? This is so the CS. So this is the CS, our newest gun. So okay. pure, we call it pure staccato, but, but smaller, right? So traditionally we make the 2011 style gun, big, big frames, grips, slides, and there was a request to say, hey, can we make a little smaller subcompact gun? These were taken nine by 38 magazines. We went to a dedicated nine mil magazine, reduced the radius, created a 3.5 inch gun that shoots very similar to a four and a half inch gun. And that heavy barrel too, yep, I love ball that. barrel. Seeing more of the heavy barrels here at SHOT Show. There's no plastic Lifetime on warranty. this, right? So it, the so only, this is a polymer frame. It's a polymer plastic. grip assembly. So what you're gonna get, if I may, okay. is our frame is actually separate from the grip assembly. We did this early on in the design. Uh, the original intent was take a 1911, put more bullets in it. How do we do that? Get rid of the single stack, add, add a double stack to it. So they're like, okay, let's make that polymer easier to work with. And then what ended up happening is we were able to get twice the amount of bullets in it. But this one of the secondary effects, which is kind of neat if you're a geek on that kind of stuff like I am, is as recoil energy impulse travels down our frame and hits our grip, it actually starts to dissipate. So we get like 30% less felt recoil because of the how we build the guns. The frame and the grip being single piece retain that energy and you feel recoil energy. Can you show me the frame and the grip? Do you have anything? So, we don't have it separate. It if you look at it, if you want to come in close, our, re our takedown points for that, that grip assembly, if you're going to take it apart, would be up in the trigger guard here. There's a, you see that pin in there? No, this here, down in here. See that pin there? You would unscrew that from each side. This one and that one and that whole grip assembly comes apart. When you look inside, it's a 1911. The frame comes through, comes down, and it basically stops right here. Yep. Okay. So it's just all through here is your base, and then oh, this okay. comes in and seats into I'm it. I'm tracking now. Right. Is this um, barrel ported? Yeah, so here's another thing. Yes. On the XC, yes. I call this like our super tuner, right? Our high water mark. So on this barrel, the actual comp, is oh, part dude, of like it's part of the barrel. We mill it all one piece. Cool. Nothing's threaded. Nothing's welded. That yeah. one goes about forty-three hundred dollars. It's like, but it, it's so like I said, the it's XC. the high water mark of everything. Okay. Jim with staccato. Appreciate, Appreciate it, your man. time, my man. Dude. I hope you enjoy Hell it. Yeah. Look forward great to, to be seeing you in Texas. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Thank you. Frank said I wasn't man enough to drink some CLP, <laughs> and I just fucking <laughs> drank it. I thought it was one of those little go-go energies. No, Daddy just runs on these. Huh? Oh my this is god. actually good. I will say, this this gun oil is that toxic? Like it works good and it tastes good. I just drank this little baby. I can feel the lubricity in my throat. No way. ALG go juice. If I just pass out in the middle of this, I just took a shot of gun oil at Geisley. Okay. Just disclaimer. I mean, I'm not an idiot. It was. It's in like a little juicy juice. It has like a little kid on there, like you know. I'm serious. I don't know. I'm big right now. Like, so I mean, this is the FDP FDC correct, correct. partnership with Zev nine millimeter Glock mags. Glock mags, yeah. So we have a 21 rounder in here. It folds to the 21 round. Probably shit with a 21 round. All right. 17 rounder fits flush. Take trigger Glock mags or you know mag full P mags. That is cool. What's the MSRP on this? Don't have an MSRP yet. Uh, it's That's be what everybody though. says. Yeah. It's gonna be affordable. Affordable. All right. So under a thousand, under five hundred. We're gonna say under fifteen hundred is what we're shooting for. What about availability? Uh, it's gonna be another year at least. Another so. year. But this at one time was just like a prototype for fun gun that you guys brought to Shot Show a few years back. Uh, I think it was like two thousand eight. It was a fun gun prototype. And yeah. Then, yeah. We kind of like reimagined it, brought it back to life. This is the charging handle right here. I'm just gonna push back on that. The whole thing's gonna pull you out. It's got an AMB charging handle. All sets of safety on this side. And to close it up, it's got a latch under here and this button back here. That's really cool. And what is the construction breakdown? Mostly 
Polymer. Thermal polymer. Uh, we make the body, and then Zev has the internals. Um, so it's like an OZ9 on the inside. Like okay. And then also the carry handle is removable. So if you want to drop like an optic on there, red dot, your choice, you could do that. Very cool. You're the last dude I ever get to hang out with. Yeah. It's a pleasure. It's an honor, man. Probably drop dead in the corner, you know? Right. Looking at the FN 510 Tactical, the 10 millimeter 509. Very similar ergonomics grip. Um, obviously a little larger barrel. Still feels just like the FN 509, the trigger pull, uh, the brakes. Internals do look slightly different for the uh, striker. I was looking at it. The lug face does look slightly different. So uh, there could be some internals in here that are different and not interchangeable between the 509. But the FN 510 Tactical has been released and the FN 545 Tactical has been released. And they feel very much like a FN 509 just with the different colors. This has got way too much Gucci options for anything I've ever seen in the military. You're gonna get a 240 Bravo, and you're definitely not gonna get a red dot like this. Definitely not get all this Gucci feeding system. It'll be beat the hell up, sandy. Two at once though, this is a must. Like all this, not necessary. But two at once, that's pretty dope. And then the 50, I love this optic, but you're not gonna get all that kind of sexy red dot hardware. Why do you even need it? You got tracers, follow your eye. Strange, you don't need dual bullshit. The butterflies in the back with the little handle, that's it. I do need that, I like that. Now we're like 30 minutes in, still haven't dropped dead. I don't know, gun oil on an empty stomach, probably gonna live. In the basement, they actually offer edible things that you can consume. I suggest you ever come to SHOT Show, you ask the booth personnel, is this edible? SWCH full size, 17 round capacity, four and a half inch slide. The internals, it all works just like the Glock 19. And so it gives it that reliability. As you can see, what's interesting about this one is that most traditional Glock clones or uh, you know, for the PSA full size regular, the uh, serial number is the frame, but now they made it into the FCU as you can see here. And so now that's their new innovation here going on. So you can be able to swap out your grip modules and swap it out based off what you want. And it's unserialized. All the drop-in triggers that are available on the market right now. Yeah, Glock lot, triggers will work. Yeah. They will work? Yes. Oh, that's good. The main uh, selling points for this gun was that it can hold five, plus more, uh, five more rounds from it compared to the 43X. As you can see, it's a double stack compared to a single stack on the 43X. So that's how they're able to get that five more rounds in the same grip module. What Absolutely. do you think about the five sevens? The PSA is doing. Uh, I actually haven't even had my hands on one yet. Really? Yep. Have so. you been into the 5.7 pistol uh, game yet? Only the original FN. 23 round capacity. It's a 4.7 inch barrel. Are all of these the same? No, what? so the concept a one's a, this is the new release that so they want to release. This is a concept <laughs> yes. compact, but they've got their full size that's out which is a 23 rounder. Full size, it's got the threaded barrel. I love the porting on the slide. I love the coating on the barrels. Looks like the trigger's the same, all the same. Just made it shorter. This is nice. PSA did a good job. I would buy this. I'm always a sucker for like ported sexy slides with tin coating on the barrels and some thread action, mainly because I like to screw stuff. Hey, what is it, 5.7 rock? rock? Yeah. Tune right into 5.7 rock where we're throwing rocks all day long here at PSA, baby. The new 5.79 Ruger booth. I've got Alvaro, one of our engineers in Carbo, and we're just looking at the Ruger LC carbine. You guys are all familiar with the Ruger 5.7. It's chambered in 5.7. These magazines are interchangeable. If you look at the lower platform of the pistol, same functionality, similar functions with the ambi safety, and then also you know the mag release and the trigger. They're pretty much identical. Obviously, now we've got a carbine system up top. Similar to this PC carbine, you have a, looks like a direct blowback system. Awesome feeling trigger. Safety blade here, which doesn't have the PC carbine doesn't have. I think if you had the Ruger 5.7 pistol, this would be a great complement to that. Pretty good quality MSRP is 1000 bucks. That actually feels like they did a better yeah, job. Yeah, so this yeah, is, right. I mean, a lot lighter. Clearly see the difference there with the size but a lot lighter, I can actually control it with one arm. If you said, hey, which one do you want? Then I would pair up the 5.7 pistol with their LC carbine. I like that. All your finger touch points are the same. So your 5.7 pistol and the LC carbine, they both feel the same. It's the same lower as that 5.7 pistol. I really like this like square, thin little rail system. Like it definitely seems like something you could operate. I think that is a huge win the LC carbine. Going snap to tails, hammer scissors, or tip to tip. Here's your 16 inch barrel, and we're matching. 
Right now we're looking at the new Security 380. It is similar to their Security 9mm, but now it's offered in the 380. They made a lot of differences here that will help out the shooting and the recoil. You can see it's a little bit of a shorter barrel. You can see the slide differences. We have here, so it's easier to rack. It's a nice grip point point compared to here with the serrations. Barrel's not ported, but it still reduces that weight. You got a dog bite in your left hand. I don't know, holding your daughter? <laughs> Either or, you're ready to shoot. It's actually very addicting. So the MSRP is 369. They're ready or available to ship. Great gun. So tell me, this is cool. I found it interesting that these are prototypes. I didn't know anything about Oracle Arms, but right. I heard it was new. Yep. Our engineers actually were like, we gotta go to Oracle Arms. I'm like, I just heard Oracle. I'm like, ah, sweet. I wanna go see the Oracle. I wanna go to That's the right. Matrix, you know? Yeah. So we're gonna have five models, okay. right? So we're gonna have two sizes, compact and full size. Okay. So right here, the one you're holding, the 2311, these are the combat. So this is gonna be your full size, uh, five inch barrel, full size frame. And these are both in the polymer. We do have a Combat Elite Series, which is gonna have the aluminum grip. This has got the aluminum or straight polymer? This is straight polymer. Basically, um, each one of these firearms. They all have an aluminum frame. Correct, so this, this can be basically broken down into three pieces. Okay. Your grip, your frame, and then your slide. Got it. So, so the interchangeable part, as far as like what's gonna make the Elite Series heavier in the competition, all that is gonna come from your mostly your grip and then the stainless frame on the competition model. We saw the same kind of concept, staccato, or similar. I do like it. it that was the first time I had heard, seen this whole like, you know, we've got steel frame or aluminum frame, but we've got polymer grip but it's pretty neat to see how it all is tied together. This one right here, 2311 Dude. Combat Elite Series, so this is gonna be the aluminum grip on the aluminum frame. This is a premium option. I mean, I this like is. that you guys this didn't cheap model. out in any way, shape, or form. I love this case. Usually I throw cases away immediately. You know, it'll come with a bunch of warnings and safety things, throw it away with like hate and anger. And then it comes with a pistol lock, throw that away and break it as I'm throwing it, and then a crappy case trash can. This, I like. This is nice. Look at that. That's like really good stitching and that's like some kind of rubber integration of the logo and you've got Velcro for all your tactical patches or gear or whatever. The mags seem to be of other made in USA. They are. We make the mags. Do. So you can get your, you can take any SIG P320 magazine, run them in these guns. Okay. These magazines will run in the SIG P320 platform. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I like so. the interchangeability. You guys thought this one through. And this is actually a nice quality little mag holding system. Like everybody always asks about, I need a bag or a case, I'm going to the range, this is it. Dude. Let's keep going, Nate. Let's do it. You're selling me. I'm actually right. probably gonna buy one of these things. I, I like it. <laughs> this is 70, 75 aluminum here. It actually feels nice and soft to the touch. There's no sharp edges or burrs. Oh, this is the most expensive one? This is, this is the flagship. This ah, is the competition model. God. But this one's, the MSRP on this one's gonna be right at 26. Okay, but I'm what's gonna be the decision point to produce them? How do we get them? Everyone's gonna wanna know, how do I get it? That's right. We're looking at three to four months on production. Uh, now, once we do get into production, the first few runs are pretty much earmarked for your T&Es, your range demo guns, uh, high-profile shooters, that kind of stuff. And so then, you have to pre-order these to get them? So we're not going to open up for pre-orders. Okay. These look excellent. Well, thank you. Yeah, we man. Appreciate it. Really good to meet you, Nate. Yeah, thank you, And Chris. I love that Nate's got the balls to talk about his product on camera. A lot of the big corporate, corporate ones. Check it out, guys. I'm sorry. I love you, though. Nate does, too. We're gonna get it. I would love to carry these. That's it, guys. Day three, we're out of here. Shot show. This place is clearing out. Security's already booting us out. Just had to get every little piece of content for you. We had a great chat with the Oracle guys. Some of them were group guys, some of them were Range Battalion dudes. So I had no idea. Nate was a 20th group guy until we got done with the conversation interview. And these guys actually spent a lot of time with Ruger. I was yelling at them the whole time, but they were getting some good. Yeah, just keep Insight. building a relationship with Ruger, you know, the engineers talking with them, chatting it up, yeah. trying to get better products for them. They looked like they had a lot of fun. They were talking the engineer language with them, but it was good. Actually, really good. Yeah, it was awesome. Awesome. I think All we right. got a better connection coming up forward. Yeah, All right, good. we're going to take this MRAP to dinner. I think this will do, right? Can we get the keys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Right Peace. here.